Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Welcome to a new vlog. It is post vacation. It is a new year. Happy 2024. My new year is just kind of starting this week. I had my friend Olivia staying with me the last week. So that was kind of like a blip. Milo keeps meowing. Um, so my new year really hadn't started because we were still like kind of being insane. So I'm just starting to get back into my routine this week. It is January 11th. I'm really excited for the new year. I think it's going to be good. I have a lot of goals and ambitions that I haven't really thought about yet. Milo, do you want to say hi to the vlog? Milo's been very vocal lately. Do you have anything to say other than I want to go down? Here, do you want to go up here? This is not a vape. It's actually, this is a Edie Parker weed pen. Issa left this at my house. I would never buy this myself. And now I just hit it every now and then. It doesn't really do much to me. I don't think I actually inhale it. But you know, it gives a placebo effect of being high. I don't smoke weed. I don't like weed, really. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm just trying to let you know, like, I'm not like an, uh, I'm not a stoner. I just, it helps me feel things sometimes. I honestly, I think I just do it to be cool because I don't smoke anything. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke vapes. Like, I'm just like not cool. Actually, that makes me cool, I fear. Anyway, today I have a bunch of work to catch up on. I honestly have endless things to do for the rest of the week that I'm going to try and catch up on. A lot of emails, a lot of content and shit. I need to get a new assistant. These vlogs need to go up. I have two vlogs. One done, one not done. No, two not done, one done. That need to go up for you guys because I know I've been literally leaving you on red for so long. But yeah, just wanted to start the vlog off. Just got home, went to Aloe, got coffee with my friends or matcha with my friends. And now I have some packages to open and then I need to shoot an ad. So yeah, just wanted to start the vlog off here. I don't know how long this will be, probably for the rest of the week. It's time for coffee number two. I also had half a matcha. I slept horribly last night. I don't know why. I think because I was really ambitious and I set my alarm for 5.30, which isn't that crazy for me. I like used to get up at six like so easily. Lately, not, not so much, but it was a new year. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to get back into this like early morning routine. I really do love the morning. I get the most done in the morning, you know? In case anybody was wondering how I make coffee. Milo! What's wrong, baby? Milo? <sighs> Guys, if you have a cat and you have any idea what's going on with Milo, please let me know. He's been on one lately. Like his balls are chopped off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting him a friend though. I'm getting him a second cat. Okay, what am I doing? Making coffee. My mug game is crazy. It's crazy. Milo, are you stuck somewhere? Milo! What do you have to say? Huh? I don't understand. I just fed you, babe. Look how cute these little cat bowls are. So cute. I swear I'm a good cat mom. I don't know what, what's going on. Too much water. Ooh, but she looks good though. I fear this might be a very real vlog. I really want to tell you guys something that's worth jail time that I did last night, but I don't know if I should tell you. I also like don't want to disrespect the person, but I committed crime last night. Crimes, 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 crimes. Shake my head. Bro, and also the fucking craziest shit keeps happening to me. Like, the most ridiculous, humbling, humbling experiences I keep having. It's fine. It's for another time. Maybe I should start a podcast. Because I fear, uh, maybe I shouldn't. I fear I would say way too much. I have no filter and no concept of oversharing. But at the same time, I'm like, YOLO. Like, I only live once. Like, who's really watching this? You know what I mean? Like, you guys aren't going to tell anyone, right? Like, whatever. I made avocado toast. With beans on top. Olivia showed me this when she was here. And I fucking love baked beans. So, yeah. Can't say I've done much since I last spoke to you. I've really been scrolling on TikTok a lot. Hey guys, I've been on absolute shit vlogger. I haven't really done much. I like went to a bar last night. But I wanted to show you guys my new sweatsuit. Because it's my friend's 
brand. And it's not actually out yet, but I'll link the Instagram. It's called La Compania, I think. I'm not even hyping them up because they're my friends. Like they're actually my ex's friends. We love them. Anyway, um, they're just genuinely so comfortable. Like I got these like a couple days ago and I have not been able to take it off. Like I'm, it's just the perfect amount of like thickness. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, this is a zip up. It's just really simple, like no crazy logos. Just has this little C arrow situation here. This is the navy. And it has a hood, obviously. I have mine in a small. I don't know, it just fits perfectly. I wore this literally out to the bar last night. But their sweatpants are what are really sick and I feel like unique and different. Like, they're so sick. I got mine in the small. You could definitely size up if you want it baggier, but they're already like kind of baggy. I love how there's like a drop crotch and then the pockets are like circles and then you can feel the like, you can just see they're just sick. And I love the low, like, Obviously, because I'm a girl, they fit a little big. I think these are men's sizing, but I love how they fit low-waisted on me. I love every anything low-waisted. They just kind of slay, and they don't really give me, like, a diaper butt. Oof. Anyway, I would totally wear these out. I'm going to wear these to the airport. I think I'm going to wear this exact outfit to the airport. Love it. Wanted to shout them out. Again, I'll put the IG below. They haven't, like, launched anything. They have other colors, too. I'll show you the other ones they gave me. They haven't actually launched the brand yet. I think it'll probably be launching pretty soon by the time this video is up, knowing me. Or it might be out at this point. This is like the abbreviation. This is their tag. But I'm pretty sure it's La Compania. It's kind of sick. I'm actually, I'm really proud of them. Anyway, I got them in gray too. I got the green hoodie. It's not as like bright green as it's coming up on camera. And then it has the orange stitching. Like shit you not, these sweatpants are perfect. They're perfect. They're perfect. I love them so much. I swear to God, I would not, I would not shout them out if I didn't really love them. If you guys are looking for some good sweatpants that are actually like cute and stylish, elevated. That's all. Also, I got this fucking insane bonnet from Chanel. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna bring this on my trip too. I don't really know how to, I think I have to like wear my hair like in a bun or something because like I have so much hair like it doesn't really work peeking out of it but like it has to be more like that vibes. It's so cute and I love the pink and red and the little bejeweled Chanel logo. I, Somebody is on my side right now. I'm just getting blessed but it's also motivating me so it's a good thing. Anyway it is Sunday. I've had quite the Sunday. I've been quite productive though. I'm really hard on myself lately because I feel like I've been so unproductive, but I'm trying. I'm really trying to like, get out of it. Um, I put my phone on do not disturb today and I think it helped. I also didn't eat anything that made me feel like shit. That also helped. Lighting is horrible. I still have a bunch to do. I have a hot yoga class that I'm really excited for at four. So I'm going to do that. I have two hours, I think till then it's two right now. So I'm going to get a bit more work done and then I'm going to try and edit a video tonight. I was going to try and film one, but maybe I'll just do that tomorrow because I don't have anything to do tomorrow except for aloe. So, yeah. Hey, guys. Back from yoga. I was literally, like, dripping sweat. Like, I was wet. Like, my bodysuit was damp. Like, it was wet. You know what I mean? It was crazy. I forgot how hard the, like, core yoga classes are that they have in my studio. This vlog is going to be essentially a chit-chat at home vlog, I fear. That's okay. Anywho, I ordered from Planta. Since Olivia came to visit me, we went to Planta. It was my first time going to the Planta in Williamsburg. And I'm fucking obsessed. I'm like the type of person who like, I hyper fixate on one food. And like, I've ordered this probably like five times, this exact same order. And then I'll probably get sick of it. Well, I'm going away in like two days, two or three days. So I'll have a break. I'm obsessed because I don't feel like shit after I eat it. Vegan, like, come on. Oh, but before I eat, I want to show you guys. I went to Sephora. I lied. I didn't go to Sephora. I'm really lazy. I Instagrammed Sephora and needed to get some stuff before I left. I forgot one major thing I needed, which was more drunk elephant dew drops, like tanning drops, the tanning drops. I needed more of those. Honestly, let's write it down because I'm going to forget. Maybe I'll pick it up tomorrow after aloe. I picked up more Dr. Dennis Gross peeling pads. I can link everything down below if you guys are interested, but this is all stuff that like I repurchased and I don't get sent. These help so much with my texture. I have been struggling with texture for the last like year, I wanna say. And these have been the only thing that has really like 
made a difference. Not immediately, but over time. I use one every other day or sometimes like re more recently because my skin hasn't been as bad. I will use it like twice a week, but it's an exfoliant. It's really good. And I have very sensitive skin and I didn't have any type of reaction. So really recommend. I use the regular, but they do also have a sensitive version. Then I got two packs of Peace Out pimple patches because my forehead, as you can see, is like... The problem is, is I pick and it always gets worse. I'll have like texture and then I'll try and like pick it and it just turns into pimples. It's a horrible, horrible pattern. This is like one of my favorite sheet masks. It's from Dr. Jart. It's just like a hydration sheet mask. So I got this to travel with. I got the Grande Cosmetics Brow. I swear I'm always ordering brow serums and eyelash serums and they always just disappear. So I got this. My eyebrows are just a little sparse right now. I got this to travel with. This is the Pharmacy Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I really like this. I got Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in Intense. I always, again, am losing my lip liners, so I just like to stock up. I got a lip scrub because, oh my god, I've been needing this. Like, my lips just, like, are always crusty. Even when I put lip balm on, like, there's still so much dead skin. And I think it's because I don't really exfoliate my lips. So I got this fresh, gently exfoliates and nourishes. Hi, Milo. Hi, baby. This was one of the main things I needed. I needed a new setting spray. Ran out. Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the only one I use. Okay, and then I stocked up. This is my favorite concealer. But I literally got three because I use this so much. There's not that much product in it, honestly, but it's the Dior Backstage Concealer, and I am three neutral. Love those. And then I got a new lip liner because I heard this lip liner was good. It's from Tower 28. It's just a brown lip liner in Draw Me. And yeah, that's that's my Sephora haul. Now it's time for the Planta haul. Oh my god. If you guys, even if you aren't into vegan food i'm not into vegan food i usually hate vegan food but i've been introduced to like so many good vegan places recently because of olivia anyway bang bang broccoli from planta insane this one is looking a little skimpy today like it's a lot of small pieces but that's okay so it looks like this you take the spicy sauce and then i'm a big fan of shaking your food this is the star of the show. This is the truffle udon. And it's even crazier because I don't like truffle. I hate truffle, but I fucking love. Sorry for I'm swearing a lot. This is insane. Like insane. You guys have to try it. You have to try it. They also have a planta in Toronto. I think it was in Toronto before it was even in New York. New York. I don't honestly know where it originated from. Anyway, I'm gonna chow down. I'm gonna watch some YouTube vibe. Good morning guys, it is Monday now. Didn't get done pretty much everything I said last night. Last night I literally went to bed at like 9.30. I had my computer, I was like, I'm gonna edit. And then I was like, okay, let me just go to sleep right now and get up at like five. And then I'll edit in the morning and go to Aloe after. Walked Aloe, didn't happen. I, oh, I did, I actually, I got up at five, sat up for a little bit. And then I was like, mm, let me sleep till six. And then I slept till seven and I got up at seven. I don't know what, I could have gotten up at five. I just didn't. But I do feel really well rested, which is nice. Because we need our beauty sleep. I'm in like a great editing groove. I've been editing not that long, like 40 minutes. But I have to leave for Aloe now in like 10. And I'm also annoyed because I didn't walk there. So I'm going to maybe walk back so I can get my steps in. This vlog is really old. It's from November. But... And it's another, it's like a chatty sit down. It'll be out by the time you guys see this, but I'm enjoying editing it. It's just like, I need to get in a groove and then I'll start editing. It's really hard to like start, but once you're in it, it's not as bad. But I have a lot of stuff I need to do today and fingers crossed I can get them done and be productive. I have T minus less than three days till I leave because I, my flight's at 9.30 on Wednesday. I really only have like two and a half days. So I would like to honestly try and pack today, get that out of the way. Cause that always takes me like a whole day. I don't know why. I'm not gonna be so serious with it this time. I'm just gonna like pack things I like to wear. Cause it's gonna be cold and like whatever. I don't even give a shit about being cute. But my dilemma I'm having right now is I have a huge pimple on my forehead and I just think it's a little aggressive to go walk around the city with a green star on my face. Normally I would if I have like a pimple here on the side of my face, I'll always wear a star like a whatever, a pimple patch. But this is like really in the center of my face. So I'm just not sure what to do. And it's like, I only have these green ones left. If it were a different color, maybe like a black one. But this green is just like really neon. But yeah, I have Pilates. 
I do this a lot, guys. I don't know why. But Pilates, I had my Athletic Greens, which I haven't had in a long time. I just stopped taking it for some reason. I had Athletic Greens this morning and lemon water, and now I'm having my coffee. Anyway, no one cares. Except for I think some of you do care. Because I think about some of my favorite YouTubers, or like some of my favorite people I just like, like to keep up to date with. And like, I'll listen to them talk about literally anything. And it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So like, if you're new here, you probably don't give a shit and you will click off. But I feel like if you're invested in my life, I was thinking I might start like a weekly like series where like I just like chit chat, like kind of like a podcast, but not a podcast, but more just like a series or like a like a routine, like a series that would come out every single week where I just blabber about different topics because I've become quite the yapper. Speaking of the yapper herself is just sexy. All right. Anyway, I have to go. I'll see you guys in a bit. Quickly showing you guys what I'm wearing to Aloe, Chanel, Ballet Flats, La Compagnie, La Compagnie, sweatpants, my friend's sweatpants, Aloe underneath obviously, TNA, hoodie, Stussy, leather jacket, and knocked up earmuffs. Bye. I'm taking down my trash because I'm a responsible young lady. What do we think about the black tips, guys? I think I don't like them. I like, they, I feel like Tips only look good in like white or like a light color. I don't know. I'm feeling crazy. around a bit after I actually walked around a lot um, I went to McNally Jackson which is my favorite bookstore in Soho even though I have one in Williamsburg but I was just like I wanted somewhere to walk to there's actually I forgot to go there's a new like or I don't know if it's new but there's like a coffee shop bookshop in Soho I think on Mercer that I wanted to go to but I forgot anyway I then went to smile to go and got lunch which I devoured as soon as I got home. And I also put in my bag stupidly and got oil stains all over my fucking new sweatpants. So I'm kind of freaking out. I put them in the wash. Hopefully it's fine. Or else I'm gonna take my dry cleaner today. I devoured that. And I got like salmon, like some sort of pasta salad, salad, and then these carrots that are so fucking good. If you are ever in Soho and you want like a healthy meal, go to Smell to Go. It's literally the best. I wish they had one in Williamsburg. I'm warning anyone watching this, this is really truly like Ruby doesn't leave the house type vlog because I'm not really doing anything in the next couple days that's interesting before I leave. So it's just going to be like updates on updates on me ch chatting. It's just going to be me chatting and showing you things <laughs> and shit and what food I eat <laughs> from this chair. I got so many books for literally no reason. My excuse is I have a really big bookshelf, as you can see behind me, that needs to be filled. Um, but I have so many books I haven't read. It's actually ridiculous. I need to start reading more because I'm never going to get through all my books and I want to read them all. But anyway, um, the first book I got is Clara and the Sun. This is a really popular book. It just sounded interesting. So I've read another book by this author. I forget what it was called, but... I liked it a lot, and this is like, I think his most popular book. So, got that. I low-key might already own this. Next one I got is The Goodbye Cat. It just sounds like, it's like a tiny little book, but it sounds like a really cute story. Apparently it's a bestseller in Japan, and it's a joyous celebration of the wondrous, wonder, 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 wonderness, wonderness, question marks. I'm gonna have to look up that word of cats and why we choose to share our lives with them. As you guys know, I have a beautiful baby cat. And um, I just, you know, I love cats. 
Next, I got Killers of the Flower Moon, which I believe it says soon to be a major motion picture. I don't know if it's out yet, but I read the back of it and I don't know anything about this book. Oh my god, this book literally has pictures in it. It's weird. I've never seen that. It literally has like, like, you see that? It has like photos in it. The Osage Murders and the Birth of the FBI. I don't know. I read the back and it sounded interesting and not like a, I think it's nonfiction. Is it? I don't fucking know. I'm just showing you guys. Next book I got is The Hundred Years War on Palestine. Another nonfiction. Wait, fiction. Another fiction. I always keep get fiction and nonfiction mixed up. I don't know why. But yeah, this looked again just like a good informational read. Another fiction. I don't usually get this much fiction, guys. I got the glossy book about Glossier. It's called Glossy, and it's the story of Emily Wise, who I believe started Glossier. So yeah sounded interesting again and then last i got the maid which i think is like a mystery which i like reading i think honestly i have no idea i also just like the cover so yeah those are the books i got i need to finish my book i'm reading right now though i just made another coffee to keep me going because that walk it's fucking freezing today like really cold i felt like i was like in like a cold plunge yeah, and then I went to Sephora and they didn't have the fucking drunk elephant thing, so that was a waste of time, but it's fine. I wrote down that I was, like, gonna do content today, but I'm really not feeling it, I fear. Maybe I'll still try and do it. It's not that bad. And then Depop pictures I have to do. I really want to try and get that shit done before I leave and so I can upload it while I'm gone. And then I want to pack today. So let's try and prioritize what we need the light for. So maybe I'll take... I had like a couple things written down here for content. Maybe I'll do one of them. One of them. And then I'll do default pictures. And then I was going to film a Q&A, but maybe I'll do that tomorrow. All right, guys. That's my update. That's my update. I love how like, I'm, what am I opening my computer for? Because I just said I'm going to do content. Oh, oh my God. Okay, we need to turn this off.